Welcome back. It's time for our Pets as Pals with Woodford Humane Society. As always, we've got Beth Olson joining us today, and uh, we will get to all of this bourbon for yes. the Summer Gala in <laughs> just a moment. But first, tell us more about Ulysses. Yes, this is our little guy today. He is about 12 weeks old, oh and goodness. he is a golden doodle. Okay. Um, as you can see, he's landed solidly somewhere in the middle between golden and doodle. Yeah. <laughs> um, so he doesn't have that full poodle coat, but he does have a little bit of a wiry coat. Yeah. And you can tell, like, there's not a lot of hair coming off, like a little bit of shedding, but not a ton. Not so much, if you're looking yeah. for a dog that's going to have, like, a little bit less shedding, um, we have this little guy, and he actually has three siblings. I'm oh. not now, I won't say. I don't know how many have already been snatched up. So ah. uh, if you're interested, just give us a call. Um, and I wouldn't wait on that. I would I would go ahead and give that, make that phone call this afternoon because they're going to get snatched up fast. He is so sweet. For 12 weeks old, I mean, he is incredibly calm. He is. Um, now, he was being a wild child earlier. I will say he's in a huge chewing phase right now. Mm -hmm. So, um, you know, if you're going to take a puppy home, of course, you have to be ready for right. all of that. Um, and right now, he just wants to chew on any and everything. He seems so. like he'd be a good fit in most homes, though, as far yeah. as temperament and all of that. You know, one of the great things about a dog this at this age is that they can kind of learn to like pretty much anybody. So yeah. other dogs, cats, kids, um, they're really at a malleable stage. So. Yeah. Um, whatever your home is, as long as you have time to do all the puppy stuff, so the training and the exercise and the playtime, um, you'd probably be a pretty good fit for him. Always such a good reminder of things to keep in mind because everyone, of course, wants to snatch up a puppy. Yes, so just remember and they are the a lot of work. Yeah, they are. All right, uh, so if we are talking about the Summer Gala now, this is one of those big fundraisers for you guys that helps you continue to do the work that you do in, yes. in adoptions and so many more things. So tell us more about what's new this year, which is this bourbon this pool. This whole stack of yeah. bourbon here. So uh, the bourbon pool is just one part of the Summer Gala, but it's something special. We like to add um, something to the Summer Gala that's exclusive for guests. Okay. So you do have to be present at the Summer Gala to participate. Um, so how this is going to work is we are basically going to raffle off all 10 of these bottles of bourbon over the course wow. of the Summer Gala. Um, the twist is if your name is pulled and you go up to pick out the bottle you want to take home, you're not going to know which one you're getting mm. until you unbox it. They're all going to be disguised. That way, you know, the person who wins the 10th bottle has just as good a chance of picking you know, one of the really well-liked ones like the Blantons, the Blantons or the E.H. Taylor yeah. or the Woodford Reserve Double Double Oaked as anybody else. So it kind of evens the playing ground and just puts a little bit of mystery in there. Yeah, I mean, there's so much bourbon here. If you're a bourbon lover, uh, you don't get lucky in the bourbon pull. There are some other ways that you can still snag a bottle at the Summer Gala, right? Yeah, so we also have a silent auction that will be opening on July 7th okay. and runs through July 22nd at the Gala. Um, and there are some more rare bottles in there. We have, um, you know, a few of the uh, really limited run Woodford Reserve bottles in there. Um, there's another bottle of Blanton's in there if you're a Blanton's fan and you're just really trying to get that bottle. Um, so there are, there's great bourbon to be had at the bourbon poll. Um, entries are just $35 and uh, include a signature cocktail. Yeah. Um, and if you happen to miss out on the bourbon poll, you can always bid in the auction as well. That's right. Uh, we cannot stress this enough. The bourbon poll is only available to gala guests. Yes. So get your tickets. <laughs> Beth, how can folks do that? Everything is online at woodfordhumane.org or you can go directly to the uh, event website woodfordhumane.link slash summer gala um, and tickets are available through July 16th. You can also, if you have a group of people, uh, reserve a half table or a full table and get a little bit of discount per person. So, And again, why is this gala so important to the work that you guys continue to do? Uh, what a lot of people don't realize is that Woodford Humane Society is um, not a government organization. We don't receive any government funding at any level. Right. So uh, events like this one um, literally keep us running, especially in these summer months when donations tend to drop a little bit and um, intake is really high because we're getting in a lot of kittens and puppies. So oh, yeah. it's a huge impact. You know, every ticket sold, every bid in the auction, you are helping very directly um, hundreds of pets who need great homes. Plus, it's a fun event. Pax and I are so excited to help MC again this year. So get your tickets, get them now. We've got the details on our website, WTVQ.com as well. And help adopt Ulysses. Yes, because he's, he's chewing on his leash. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Puppy chewy stage. Yes. All right, Beth, as always, thank you so much for coming by today. Thanks for having us. Stick around. We've got to look at your headlines right after this.